creative thinking is more important to today's society than ever before. So we've looked around for inspiration to see where is it that people are already developing as creative thinkers. As we've looked around, we've gotten a lot of our inspiration from kindergarten, from the way children learn in kindergarten. Because we see that children, at least in traditional kindergartens, are really developing as creative thinkers. And why is it that that happens? That it's because children in kindergarten have lots of opportunities to playfully design and create in collaboration with each other. But our goal in the Lifelong Kindergarten Group is to turn all of school, in fact all of life, to be a little bit more like kindergarten so that throughout all of our lives we're supported in playfully designing and creating and developing as creative thinkers. It's fair to ask why is it that this kindergarten approach hasn't caught on for learners of all ages if it's so successful in developing as creative thinkers. I think part of it is that we haven't had the right media and technologies. You know, in kindergarten, the wooden blocks and the finger paints and crayons are perfect for learning kindergarten concepts of number and shape, size and color. But if you know, when you become 10 years old or 15 or 25 or 55, if all you have are blocks and crayons, that's not enough to continue to innovate through your lives. So I think what we've seen is that uh, we need new types of materials to allow people to extend that kindergarten approach to all parts of their lives. And this is where we think new digital technologies come in. We think the great potential of computers and other new digital technologies is that if we design and use them correctly, and that's a big if, if we do that, we have the potential to extend that kindergarten approach to learning to learners of all ages so that everyone can design, create playfully through their lives and continue to innovate through their lives. I think in today's world, there's nothing more important than the ability to think and act creatively. I really think that the key to success and satisfaction, whether it's for individuals, or communities, or companies, or for nations as a whole, is gonna reside not on what you, know, what you know or how much you know, but on the ability to think and act creatively. And why is that? I think it's partly because the world is changing so much more quickly than ever before. There's lots of uncertainty in the world because of that. This is partly because of new technologies. New technologies have speeded up the world where we have to you know, continue to learn throughout our lives. The things we learn at one age aren't going to be relevant five years or ten years in the future. We want to have a new type of construction kit that lets kids build both structures and mechanisms and also design the behaviors for how their creation should behave in the world. And that's how we've added computation to the traditional Lego brick to expand the design possibilities. So as we've worked with the Lego company, we've had this new generation of construction kits where kids can make things that react and interact and communicate. And we think that by giving kids that opportunity for multiple types of design, it expands what they can learn and gives them a deeper understanding of the design process itself. So for example, with traditional Lego bricks, kids might build something that looks like a rabbit. With our new programmable Lego bricks that have electronics built inside, kids can make something that actually behaves like a rabbit. You know, it bumps into the wall, it changes direction, when it hears a sound, it backs up. So they can start thinking about animal behavior and start thinking about designing not just the structure, but also designing behaviors, and start thinking how do real animals work? How do we ourselves work? How are my senses like the sensors that I'm adding to my construction? So we give kids a new construction kit that has sensors and motors and lights, and then they use the computer to write rules about how their constructions should behave and interact in the world. As we work on projects here, we're always inspired by what we, what we our experiences in interacting with people in the world, especially with kids. So we spend a lot of time working with kids. We have a network of after-school learning centers where we spend time kid, with kids to see where their passions are, what they find interesting. So we always build on those experiences of what kids are interested in. But then we try to see how can we provide new opportunities for them to stretch further. So as we work with Lego Robotics, we'll have some ideas of what kids might be interested in, give them a construction kit, and then, then bring them to the kids to see what they design. And every time we see kids construct, it gives us new ideas. We're constantly iterating. We develop prototypes, try it out with kids, you know, see how what works, what doesn't work, what new ideas they have.
that gets, inspires us to have a new generation. So we're constantly iterating over and over with one prototype after another until eventually things are ready to get out to the world as a commercial product. It very much is aligned with what we hope kids will be doing in their own learning. We want kids to also be iterating. When we give them the tools, we want them to try something out, show it to their friends, get new ideas. From that, it'll spark a new idea, they'll imagine a new idea. We see a type of spiraling effect where it starts with the imagination. You then create something, you play with it, you experiment, you share it with others, you reflect upon those experiences. That gives you new ideas and then you spiral again. So we see that's the best way for kids to learn. It's the best way for us to work on our projects as well. I think play is really important in the, any type of creative process or innovative process. Again, the way I think about play is it's a process where we're trying new things, testing the boundaries. Uh, that's at the core of the play experience. And I think that's at the core of the creative experience as well. It's not play in the sense of playing a game, but more an approach to exploration, an approach to design, of trying new things, experimenting, testing the limits. So that playful approach to the world, a playful stance, is incredibly important in all the things we do, and I think important to all creative efforts.